Hello everyone and welcome to Sandbox CDB. Today we are going to present the transfer of the Orion 1 space plane from Hoffman Station to Duna. It is the first time the Orion 1 space plane will leave Hoffman Station since it arrived many months ago. And uh, it will be Valentina Kerman and Haytrude Kerman who will who will crew the Orion 1 space plane. It will be without any other crew and we are getting ready for undocking here. Okay, uh, it looks like the Orion 1 has undocked and is now moving away from the station. Of course it has to clear the docking arms that allowed access to the body for maintenance reasons. Uh, still not fully constructed yet those arms uh, especially the the right arm, uh, judging from the plane's point of view, or spacecraft's point of view now, it is unlikely that the Orion 1 space plane will be cleared for re-entry uh, due to the changes in Kerbin's atmosphere. So it is strictly a space liner now. And here we see it gently moving away from the station. It is quite large in comparison to the station and so this is a very delicate maneuver here. Valentina and Haytrude of course uh, very experienced crew and uh, certainly trusted by the EDB for this mission. Thanks to the previous shuttle mission the Orion 1 was able to partially refuel but it didn't take all of the fuel from the station. It only has enough fuel to transfer to Duna and make a loose orbit and uh, that will be a tough situation. Fuel will have to be managed carefully. It does have some margin for error but uh, it is not fully fueled. It is only carrying liquid fuel and not up to capacity because it will only be using the Nerva engines. Here you can see the exact load being carried and there the Nervas are being lit for a test as it moves away from port. This is of course not the transfer burn it is simply to get the Orion 1 space plane clear of Hoffman Station's safety zone. There you see the plot for Duna, which will bring the space plane to a Duna periapsis of about 500 kilometers. It includes a mere 4 meter per second make course correction. Here the Orion 1 is beginning its burn. It is going to be a long burn. The two Nervas do not provide too much thrust and uh, the inaccuracy in this probably means that there will need to be a correction as it heads out. Also, the plot for Duna includes a swing by of the moon, so it is very sensitive to any variations, and we'll see that soon. The EDB's goal in moving the Orion 1 to Duna is essentially to build a station around the Orion 1 space plane and use the interior of it for crew accommodations. And during construction where it might not be safe for any crew to stay on the station itself. And so that is the goal. Of course as you could see when the Orion 1 pulled away from Hoffman Station there's plenty of room inside uh, to accommodate any number of Kerbals that the EDB decides to send over to Duna to help with construction. According to current plans the station at Duna will be larger than Hoffman Station because it has to not only accommodate uh, vehicles like the Orion 1 but also any lander craft that might have to go down to Duna to do drilling and refueling and other scientific missions. The Orion 1 has now deviated substantially from its intended trajectory. It is more than halfway through the burn. Uh, the fuel situation is okay but still quite tight. Valentina and Haytrude remain confident. Mission Control is attempting to replot given the deviation, and so the initial plot has been cancelled. Uh, here is the current situation as the Orion 1 is burning near its, its flyby of the moon, and it does not look like uh, that is not the trajectory they were looking for. Uh, indeed, it is basically forcing the craft into a U-turn, uh, forcing it back in the wrong direction instead of forward towards Duna it would be pushing it back uh, inward to the inner planets to Eve. So a uh, massive correction burn has been plotted more than 300 meters per second. This is a great blow to the plans. Uh, there is talk now in mission control about whether uh, an aerobrake 
would be necessary at Duna to ensure that the Orion 1 makes orbit. That would not be preferable, it would be quite dangerous, but that, uh, that is among the discussions going on at this point. Here we are uh, seeing the final bits of the burn. It does not look like we will need a mid-course correction after all. The crew is attempting to get the periapsis as close to Duna as possible. If they can get within about a thousand kilometers that would be ideal. And then that would be enough so that they can simply make a correction inside Duna SOI. And they managed to do better than a thousand. Down to almost a hundred kilometers there, less than a hundred kilometers. And they see how much delta V will be necessary to get into orbit. It looks like the craft does have enough delta V, as so long as everything else goes all right. So currently no air braking planned. So out the Orion 1 goes past the moon on a moon swing by. Uh, caused a little bit of a problem there, but uh, that's all adjusted now. As we see the Orion 1 make its close flyby of the moon, the moon was a possibility for the Orion 1's next destination, and of course it could have facilitated the construction of a larger station here. However, there was no intention to create a mining station at the moon with the facilities already near Minmus. And so the Orion 1 is simply giving the moon a flyby and moving on. There are a nice view of the Orion 1 pulling away from the moon and Kerbin on its way to interplanetary space. On its way out from Kerbin SOI a problem was discovered as the electric charge started to drop to dangerous levels. Mission Control realized that while it's alright to have just liquid fuel for the engines, it was not alright in general because of course the Orion 1 ran on fuel cells and the fuel cells needed oxidizer. And so the Orion 1 was not being powered and did not have backup solar panels. As a result, the crew had to lock the batteries of the Orion 1 space plane, turn off SAS and turn off the lights, and any other power consuming device. Basically, they were in hibernation all the way to Duna. And only when they finally entered Duna SOI were they able to unlock the, one of the batteries, and then they reserved the other battery for the actual burn at periapsis around Duna to make orbit. There was technically no required orbit for this mission, but thankfully the Orion 1 approached for a polar orbit, which will be very helpful to accommodate all of the surface of Duna instead of just equatorial regions, and perhaps reach some of the more, uh, more abundant ore sources that will be found in the future. Uh, so here we go, the Orion 1 getting set to do its burn for orbit, unlocking the second battery there. The nuclear engines will recharge the batteries a bit, but we imagine that Valentina and Hatred will be thankful if we could send them some help soon. So here we go, uh, approaching halfway through the burn, uh, everything looking good. The Orion 1 will burn out all of its fuel. We are getting close to orbit here. Waiting to see what the, there we go. We have orbit around Duna. We have an orbit around Duna. As expected, it will end up a high orbit on one end, a highly eccentric orbit, but that will be all right for now. As long as Hatred and Valentina are safe around Duna, we can send help later on. And there you have it. There is the orbit around Duna. Uh, apoapsis above 3,000 kilometers, periapsis a tight 106 kilometers. So with that accomplished, we hope you'll tune in for future missions which will deliver the components of the Duna Station. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time.